everybody. Today I am just doing a video on my table arch. This is so you have a foundation of what I'm using over my table so that way you could possibly make your own. Now I'm stepping back a little ways just so you can kind of get a sense of what we're looking at. Um, you can see that I removed the two chairs that go at the end of my table just because this is ground supported. So you do lose those seats at the end. Um, depending on what size table you have, you might be able to fit more people or not. I, you know, it's hard to tell. Uh, you theoretically could make it so that this sits on the table. Um, maybe putting the supports in other spots, like maybe one in the middle, one on either end, but so you still have a spot. I haven't tried that yet, so I can't speak to it and everybody's table is going to work out differently. But for now, this is what I'm working with. I still really love it. I think it's going to be cool. And I, the reason why I was okay doing this and losing the chairs was because if I had a party or something, I could push this table against the wall, remove the paintings, and this could be a really cool buffet area. So whether you do it for a bridal shower, a wedding, a holiday, whatever that might be, this arch uh, theoretically could be used over din dinner table or a buffet. Um, just for added effects. So let's zoom in a little bit closer here uh, just because I want you guys to see what we're working with. I opted for copper. Um, it is more expensive than PVC. Uh, is it more sturdy? I like to think so, but I don't know for sure. I'm not like a scientist or anything, but the reason I wanted the copper was because of the coloring. As is, it's beautiful. It's got a nice copper coloring to it. Um, it, it could be left unfinished like this and I think it would still be presentable. However, if you got PVC, I would think you would want to either paint it or sew some sort of covering that goes over the pipe. But I really like this almost industrial, but not, I mean, it's not even that crazy of an industrial look. I, I, I like it a lot. Um, I will say with the, um, copper, there is printing that they put up and down the tubes um it's just a straight line and it just says you know the thickness or whatever and that came off super easy with just a little bit of acetone nail polish remover on a little um what are those cotton balls and then you just honestly like two swipes and you just you know you just take it go whoop whoop and that's it i mean you don't need to make the side effects but um now let's talk about what we used we have a nice T at the bottom here. We have an arch that goes up and over the table. Now I ended up using three 10 foot poles. I took it to, or I went to Lowe's, got them from Lowe's. The guys there were nice enough to cut them for me. With the 10 foot poles, the three 10 foot poles, this was the extras that I had. I'm keeping them because you never know. You never know what you're gonna need. Um, so just, just for context, let me walk you through the specs of my table here. I made this piece here seven feet. Now, if you look closely, I have a little bit of space on each end. That's because there's two elbows, which is this one on either side. This piece from the top to the ground, which I'll step back is six feet plus, you know, a little bit of cushion at the bottom, let's say an inch at the bottom for that connection. The reason I went for six feet was one, I have a chandelier which has already been pulled up as high as it can go, but I wanna make sure that as I'm hanging pieces from here, there's enough room for them to hang, plus you have a good, let's say 14 inches or so from dining height, so that way really two thirds of that hanging area that blank spot between the table and the top of the arch is available for you to hang things from so make sure it, you, you go that as i don't want to say as high as you can but definitely make sure you have enough height to hang whatever you want to hang so seven feet across two elbows one on either end six feet from the top to the bottom i'm just going to go over here get it nice and close so each side has one T connector and then 
two one and a half foot sections, which I finished with end caps. Now it worked out really good because if they, these come in 10 foot pole lengths, they do come in five foot as well. Um, but the 10 foot is a little bit cheaper per foot. So what was great was, let's say we cut the seven foot to go here. That means I had a three foot section extra. The guy made one cut and that was one of my extra feet here or one side of the feet. So the three foot got split in half, put in the T connector and a cap at the end. Now we had two six foots. So obviously we have four feet extra on each one. So they took one foot off of both. And then just for good measure, I had them cut both of them in case I needed replacements. But this is, these two here are a foot and a half each. And they came off of one of the six foots here. So I ended up with a little bit of extra, which is fine. There's always extras. But again, it's just something as simple as putting the connectors on the elbow in, coming down here, putting the T in, and then your end caps. These are a foot each, or a foot and a half each. And the reason I decided for foot and a half was just because the width of my table is about three feet, a little around three feet. It's a little more than that, but um, three foot of cut pipe plus the inch or two that you get on either side for the T plus a little bit at the end for the end cap makes it about the width, the width of the table. And this is mostly just for stability purposes. And full disclosure, if I move this, it does move um, because it's seven feet long, but depending on what I put up there, I might sandbag it, I might not, I don't know. We'll see what we need to do, wait it down. But this went together so quickly. I was pretty much able to do it myself. The only thing I asked for help on was just the long piece just because it was so long. Could I do it myself? Yes, but I just was trying to get it done easy and quick. But the rest of this stuff, you just assemble it on the floor laying flat and then it comes together in honestly like this whole thing less than five minutes to put up like honestly i bet you could do it in two minutes um the hardest part is just deciding you know which end do you want up or down and i'll tell you they have little stickers on the pipes when you buy them that i did try to remove with the acetone and i did try to remove with the alcohol it still left a little bit of a sticky residue you can see it here so I just put it somewhere that you could just whoop, rotate it up. And other than you guys, nobody knows it's there. But on the six foot ones, what I did was I just made sure I put the sticker part down at the bottom. It's removed, but there's still that little residue that I'll work on cleaning up later. But that's all there is to it. Honestly, I didn't have to cut anything. All I had to do was let it hang out the trunk of my car a little bit on the way home, but so easy it's just it this I, I can't even tell you guys how it looks so intense um and once you start putting the decorations and stuff on it it's gonna look crazier and you're gonna be like oh my god how did i make this i'm telling you guys seven feet across the top six six three feet across either way split into half so a foot and a half each way that's it three ten foot poles of whatever you want that's all you need. Two elbows, one for each side. Two T connectors, one for each side. And then four end caps. People, like, honestly, five minutes or less. It's going to take you longer for the guy at Home Depot, the guy at Lowe's, to cut this for you. It's worth you going out of your comfort zone if you don't like asking for help at the stores, but I bet some of you do. It's worth coming, have your schematics drawn out, measure the width of your table, the height of your table, the height of the ceiling you're going for, and just have it drawn out ready to go. Go to the store, you can pretty much hand it to them. They'll go through it with you, make a few cuts. I think this ended up being like eight cuts or something worth, maybe nine cuts. And honestly, like the whole thing was like 20 minutes of cutting. It was super quick. But there's so much we're going to do with this. So much we haven't done with this. I already have a mile long list. So I hope that this table arch is easily understood for you. If not, ask me down below. I'll explain in more detail 
But I'm telling you, you're gonna go to Home Depot, you're gonna go to Lowe's, you're gonna get three 10 foot poles, get them cut to fit, two elbows, two T markers, and four end caps. That's all you need. I did mine in three quarter inch piping in copper so it was a little bit more expensive because i got a thicker one so it would be a little bit sturdy and i got copper because it doesn't need to be refinished if i don't want it to be if you want to get pvc and make covers do it if you want to get the colorful pvc do it whatever makes sense for you this whole thing for me just pretty much for the piping because i didn't have to pay to cut it because the stores are nice enough to do it for you cost me less than a hundred bucks. I think it came in at like 92 and change with tax. Sounds like a lot, but if you have any idea of the amount of ideas that I have going through my brain of cool stuff, I'm gonna hang over this for the holidays. E worth every penny, worth every penny. All right, well, I'm gonna make a whole playlist of ideas just for this setup. Make sure you check it out. Subscribe if you wanna see more creations, tablescapes, buffets, whatever we're gonna do with this. And we'll talk soon. Bye.